To be an explorer in the 21st century is why I wake up in the morning. I have lost myself out there many times. We are working in the remotest parts of Africa, typically the sources of the greatest rivers in Africa, the Okavango being one of them. People love water. We're from it, we are it. The gift that the wilderness gives you is presence, present moment, and uh, I try and hold on to it as much as I can when I'm not there. I was out for three years. COVID kept me from the landscapes. I had cancer and I watched the work continue. And that is why we invest in the local people. To work with people in an honorable way, you have to control ego. What should we present to the Porta tomorrow that Comet is comfortable with and the group is comfortable with? You have to listen with your heart. I am a white South African. I was born during the period of apartheid. And I have lived much of my adult life seeking that acceptance. And most important tool is listening. My children connect me to the future. And I can't imagine a future without the Okavango Delta. Having the family here is a dream. The children have never experienced this before. It's important for them to be able to imagine where I am when I'm not there. They've seen the films, but never experienced it with me. When I sit alone at sunset each day, I think about them and now I think they can connect with me. Now keep your eyes peeled for little frogs. I never knew how big these lilies could get. The big ones are the night lilies. Yeah. Now you look for pygmy geese that eat the lilies. I want people to see ecosystems as something they are part of, uh, that they're plugged into wherever they live. If everyone could feel the pulse of the earth, we would all become, wherever we are, connected to the land. Attaching your well-being to the well-being of the land that you live on. I believe that this century is going to be about biological discovery. Life, connection, our own innate wildness is what's going to save us.